Well guys, it's been a pretty big couple of days on eBay. If we pull the numbers up to give you a look at what's taken place, $739 worth of revenue. We sold 19 items with an average sale price of $38.90. It is definitely the least favorite part about what I do. Love finding the item, love listing it up. I don't really enjoy shipping it off. Let me know in the comments below what your least favorite part about selling on eBay is. Hopefully these items that are selling can help you out with your own reselling business out there. Let's get into it. Gonna kick things off in the video game section, guys. We've just had this one sell, which was awesome to see. See, Super Mario World, um, a really cool SNES game, just an old school classic. The disc is definitely worn, but we're still able to get a forty-two fifty sale price. Now, I bought this at a flea market. I paid $15 for it. So there's a good little profit in there. If you can find these old vintage Nintendo games, you'll always do well. The other sale was this uh, Nintendo DS little console bundle that we had. It sold for $89.95, and I had five, six games. There was a loose one hiding in the console there, but five games as well with the hard case. All of these games don't comp out for too much money, so it was a nice one to put together as a bit of a bundle. Bought this one about two or three months ago, so not too bad of a sell-through rate. A couple of pairs of shoes has sold for me as well, guys. We've got the Nike Pegasus 36 women's running shoes here. The Pegasus and the Nike brand is a good one to be finding. These have sold for $45, a really good consistent seller for me. Would have paid no more than about 10 bucks for me. So that one's turned around pretty well. The other one that I've got here, these are the Nike Air, the other flights, men's basketball shoes, casual shoes. I've sold them for $45 as well. Would have paid no more than 10 bucks for those too. So some really good condition there as well. Condition means everything when it comes down to the shoes, guys. If you see any issues i tend not to buy them i like to buy them when they're in great nick so those ones there and the nike pegasus 36s two really good sales and funnily enough nike that just sells best for me the next sale that we've got is a pair of tommy bahama casual shorts here they are right here so these ones here are 38 waist on these and a really good brand tommy bahama if you can be finding them i took a best offer on these because they're off internationally we got a 27.95 sale price plus $25 worth of international shipping. Shouldn't cost me more than about, I would say, I don't know, 20 bucks to ship them off over to the US. So I'm gonna make a couple of extra bucks there, but make sure that you're finding this brand, guys. Tommy Bahama always does well for me. Now, we've had four items of clothing sell as well. The first one is a brand that I'm not too sure if you guys have heard of or not. Let me know in the comments. The brand is Anti Order, and I'll always pick this up whenever I see it. You can buy it at Culture Kings here in Australia. Not sure what the brand's like overseas, but I could have got about 35 to 40 for this, no dramas, but I took a best offer in the end for 30 bucks. But I don't think that's too bad of a turnaround because I only paid $5 for it in the thrift. The other one as well, this was a multi-purchase sale. So it was two t-shirts. I knew that they were buying two t-shirts. No surprise that it's sporting merchandise yet again, guys. Um, the University of Alabama. I picked this one up in uh, a Goodwill Bins video when I was over in the States. So cool to get that one turned around. $17.50 worth of a sale price on that one. And for $17.50 as well, I picked up this as well, which is a Toronto Blue Jays t-shirt. So two tees there for $35, bucks, free postage. If they were individual, I would have held out for $20 to $25, but happy to drop the price because they were buying both. This one as well, uh, we've got a Gold Coast Titans polo shirt here, fully branded up, brand new with tags as well, if you don't mind. Um, that one's gone on to sell for $29.99. So I only paid again $5 for that in a thrift. A real bread and butter winner for me, guys. These sporting merchandise items. Um, they always turn around quick because there are super fans out there. There's just fans in general out there that want to get their favorite team's gear. Now, this sale had a really quick sell-through rate in my big wall of DVDs, The Closer. I only bought this in my last video, um, so we're only talking a couple of days worth of a sell-through rate. We've got a $28 sale price for seasons one, two, and three. If you can find this in complete entirety, seasons one to seven, it sells for about 120 bucks. So I kind of wish I maybe held out to uh, collect the rest of the seasons and sell it off for a higher price. But if you're finding this DVD, guys, it does very, very well. Just racing across to mum and dad's place. There's still a few items out of today's sales that are still sitting over there. I've recently just bought my own place and uh, I haven't yet moved every single piece of inventory across. And I think the reason for that is because I, I miss Winnie and I want to just continue to go over there and grab some items and say hi to her. You can't blame me for that. Uh, so let's get over there now and we'll pick a few of those up. Oh, hey, little one. Hey, mate. How have you been? I've missed you so much. So have all the guys. They wanted to say hi to you as well. They said, Matt, can you go and put Winnie on camera? How have you been? You been good? Yeah, you look like you have been good. Hey, hey, jump in that nice warm bed. You jump in that beddy. Jump in that beddy. All right? You good? Love ya. 
two really big DVD box set sales here as well, guys. We've got every single episode of Stargate SG-1 here. Sold this one for $85. Bought this of a guy that uh, is a viewer of the channel that was selling off a bit of his collection, and uh, I got it at a pretty cheap price, so I'm really happy with that. The only issue with this at $85 it will be a bit of a burden to ship off. I think it might be 20 to 25 bucks once I put it up into a box, um, but we'll see how we go. I'm still happy with the 85 sale price. This one as well, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've sold this one a number of times in complete entirety. A lot of discs as well with this one here, which isn't great. It might be about 15 bucks to ship that one off, but still a $40 sale price on that one, I didn't think was too bad. I love my DVD box sets, guys. How good is that? 125 bucks worth. So I've just got a couple of tubs left over in the old bedroom here and uh, it's really all just my misc items, just a lot of like toys and stuff over here and then I've got all my plush and then all my board games but we've had a few sales come out of it so the first one here was this exploding minions board game. Um, that one there, the card game sold for 35 bucks, it was brand new and sealed so that's the reason why it went for its top dollar um, so that was a good one there. The other one as well was this Pikachu plush toy, we got a $20 sale price for Pikachu. Um, that will go into a small statue once I uh, squish him up and get him in there. So 20 bucks there, no dramas at all. And then the last one was this Overwatch no box Funko Pop. It only sold for 10 bucks. I'm actually probably going to lose money on this, but uh, I picked it up for $2 in a, uh, a local op shop. So 10 buck turnaround, 750 to post, take fees. So I'm probably losing myself 50 cents. And then the last sale that I've got to pick up is a really cool one, actually. It was a bunch of vintage magazines, car magazines, sports car world. There it is there. 28 magazines. I bought a large bundle of 90 and I grouped them into three sets of pretty much 30 a piece. And I've sold them all off for $80 each. And that was another one that went for 80 bucks. So they've still got the op shop tags on them for $3 each, but the lady did give them to me for a dollar each. I got a really good deal when I bought them and I've been able to sell them for now, collectively having them all sell $270. So should be more than about 15 bucks to ship these ones off. I'll be putting them into a box as well, but I was really pleased to see that one come through last night. Guys, I'm not sure if you've caught the recent news, but there was a newspaper article that just came out that's really starting to gain a bit of traction for the Aussie Flippers YouTube channel. If anyone was to subscribe, their sales on eBay is typically going up by about 20%. It was a fascinating article, and I just thought I'd pass it on into this video that if you are interested, the subscribe button's right there, and a 20% rise in sales would be pretty good. Hello. Now it's all right, the postman's here as well. 12.01 p.m. We've just knocked the post over, which is always a very good feeling. I grabbed some medium-sized Australia Post envelopes for my DVDs going forward, and I did have to go to Bunnings and buy some boxes as well. Well, not buy, you get them for free. I just went and picked up some boxes. So um, Stargate SG-1, I didn't have a box to fit that. Buffy the Vampire Slayer as well. So I've got a couple of box ones still to do back at home this afternoon, but that's okay. It won't take too long. Um, I'm at the thrift store now. I've got, I don't have a death pile, so I'm going to have to go out and buy a minimum of 10 items to get me through for today. If I can find any any more. If I can get 10 to 15, 20 maybe uh, within the next hour, then that'd be even better. Um, give me some stuff to do tomorrow as well. But I typically try to go out and thrift maybe three to four days a week. And I try and collect sort of 20 items at a time. So fingers crossed we could do that today. Let's get into it. Well, I thought the salvo trucks out the front might have been a bit of a sign of good luck, but when I got myself into the shoe section, I could only find one good pair. We had these Nike Tiempo 8s. These are the Academies, it's sort of a mid-range Nike footy boot. They go for about 50 bucks on eBay. I've actually sold this exact shoe myself in the past. So for 15 bucks, I'll turn that one into 50 bucks. That's no worries at all. I also found this as well. This was a pair of uh, Wrangler jeans, as you can see there, brand new with tags, which always helps the situation. Uh, now these were going for $18, and uh, I saw some comps on eBay, anywhere between sort of $60 to $70 in brand new condition. So uh, given the size, was a good one as well, 34 waist, 32 length. I've gone ahead and I've picked that one up. That one should do well for me. Now DVDs, we've got five for $5 here. There's a little secret compartment down the bottom, which I thought might have held a few gems. And I did pick out one that I thought was pretty good. It was this one right here, Walk on the Wild Side Series 1. There's some really good comps for this one. Happy to go ahead with the purchase there for just a dollar. Now, moved into another store. It was a Vinnie store, as you can see there. And look, there are a bunch of DVDs to pick from here. I did spend 
quite a bit of time sifting through to try and find some value. Let me know if I've missed any here, but I did find this Chicago Fire Bundle, some really latter seasons as well, season six onwards. So um, had a look on eBay, but at $8, there was just no wiggle room on that one. That was only selling for about $15, but a very good TV show if you can find it in its entirety. This one here was going for about $18. I've sold this one before, uh, the, the day the earth stood still. So that was a good little grab there. I picked that one up. And I've grabbed this one as well, which was arguably the best find of the day. Thank God you're here, the complete series four. There were comps anywhere between $30 to $40 for that one there. Uh, another store as well for some more DVDs. I've got Ice Road Truckers, the complete 10th season, which is fantastic. I uh, just paid the $3 there. And then we've got Eastbound and Down. Uh, I've picked that one up as well. With combined cost there of three bucks. Should convert into about 25. Well, guys, it's now 2.45. I've been out here for two hours and 45 minutes. I've gone into six different stores and I've really tried to spend some time in each one, sifting through to see if we can find good items and come away with seven purchases, seven listings. A lot of DVDs, some jeans and a pair of footy boots. It has been tough out there. I had my previous video where I bought a heap of cool stuff. I'm going to leave it for you right here. I'm sorry I couldn't produce the goods to end this one. We'll see you in the next.